Physicists have been following many different lines of reasoning from quantum mechanics to string theory to inflationary cosmology um, to arrive at the conclusion that our universe might be just one of many, maybe even infinitely many. But the problem is that some of these multiverses, if not all of them, seem to be very difficult to test experimentally. So is this science um, if we can't test it experimentally um, or is it something else? Philosophers were very instrumental, I think, in saying the task of science can't be put so simply. We can't just say the task of science is only to say things that can be verified. So it has to be something else. Science should be different than the way our ancestors told these stories, which was much less tied to empirical data. So we were, there was a much greater risk of being wrong. So the question is, what is this tie to empirical data? The multiverse, I think, often gets accused a little too quickly uh, of, of being something unverifiable and so on and so forth. It may be beyond our, uh, it, it may be in some principled way not possible to say directly look at the other universes, but as Hans was, was gesturing towards, um, that doesn't mean that these theories might have, that doesn't mean that we might come to have good empirical reasons of all sorts of other kinds to believe these theories, that they make all sorts of other predictions that do have observable consequences that turn out to be true, that increase our confidence that these theories are true in general. And if something like that happens, then it doesn't seem a departure from sort of traditional scientific standards of confirmation to say, look, because the theory has done so well in so many areas, we're inclined to have high confidence in it, and we're inclined to have confidence that, that various of the other claims it makes about the existence of other universes or something like that turn out to be true as well. Once you have a multiverse, and if the different universes have different uh, physical features, different uh, particle uh, spectra, different uh, coupling constants and fundamental uh, features, different numbers of dimensions and so forth, suddenly the ability of physics to predict things is greatly eroded because things that look like they're fundamental parts of our universe, like the, the, the constants that define the standard model, for example, become like, you know, contingent, like local weather. They vary randomly throughout the multiverse. The point is that with the multiverse, the whole nature of scientific explanation uh, you know, uh, predicting fundamental features of the universe, you know, the observable universe that we live in is suddenly lost. And a lot of physicists feel that that's a, a cheap way of explaining too much. Uh, and it's not, you know, it, it, it's not in the best tradition of science. Most young physics students are motivated to begin their study of physics by these very deep questions. There may be a few that begin physics because they have a love of calculation, but I think most really want <laughs> yeah. to dive well, into these questions. Right. And it seems like maybe somewhere along the way that gets lost or gets suppressed. Right. Um, so it's, it's good to hear that there's a future for that kind of inquiry.